Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of PMAT 2000. In previous video, we checked the following topic. If you have not seen the video, link is in description. In this part, we will see how to install new software from external source to PMAT 2000. As per YouTube Analytics, 70% of our viewers have not subscribed the channel yet. So if you are one of them, then please subscribe the channel and press bell icon for notification. It will really motivate us for making such video content. Let's get our video started. On our back panel of PMAT 2000, we will connect flash drive which is containing software which has to be installed in our PMAT. We will switch on PMAT and then we will click on load star. In library tab, we will click on install software. By default, removable media is already selected, we will click on next. Here we will scan our flash drive and it will automatically detect the software which is containing in our flash drive. In our case, it is already detecting FG software with part number. We will click on OK. Now we have selected the software which has to be imported from flash drive to our PMAT. We will click on import. So right now it will import the software from our flash drive to our hard drive of PMAT. It will ask you to make a directory, new directory. So we'll click on next and then we'll click on OK again. Now here it is asking software part number and then we can select all different option which we need. If this software belong to which models, which system, which LRU and which tail number. We can select here. These options can also be modified later on in library management. So we'll select as per our need and then we will click on next. We'll click on next again. So it is validating our software and then the software will be installed in our PMAT 2000 ready to upload in aircraft. Installation complete, we'll click on OK. And just to confirm whether our software is uploaded properly, we'll go in library management. In software list, we will check for our part number and then here you can still modify all the options which we need and then we can update if we are changing anything or we can go back. Now we will try another software with the FMGC only. We have connected our pen drive, we will go in install software. Same as before, we will click removable media and then we will click next. We will click on scan. It will automatically detect all the software now here the software it is not detecting the part number for the software so we can edit here we can write the part number which we are loading right now we'll click on ok and rest all step will be same as before 